Hello friends, welcome back to yet another lecture in engineering mechanics. Today we are going to discuss moment of a couple. Now what is moment of a couple? To understand that let us understand what a couple is. If there are two forces F and minus F having the same magnitude, parallel lines of action and opposite sense then they are said to form a couple. So here you find this is a force F and there is a force minus F. This minus sign represents the change in the direction. The magnitudes are the same. Their line of action is parallel to each other. Now this two forces form a couple. Let us consider taking moment of this forces minus F and F about point O. You see carefully this force F acting at point A and this force minus F is acting at point B. Find the moment of these two forces about the origin O. I have RA cross F plus RB cross minus F. This is already covered in the last lecture. This turns out to be RA minus RB cross F. If you look at this vector diagram, RA is here, RB is here. So RA minus RB would be this vector RAB and that will be RAB cross the same force F. The vector M is the moment of the force of the couples. Hence you can say the vector M as the moment of the couple and it is a vector perpendicular to the plane containing the two forces and its magnitude is given as M is equal to RF sin theta and you can also take it as F into D where D is the perpendicular distance between these two lines of actions. So in a way we can say that every couple force can be attributed to a moment. So the, if there is equal and opposite forces acting at two different points and their line of actions are parallel to each other then it forms a couple and those couples you take moment about any point you will finally end up having the same moment of the force with respect to any one of the other force line of action point like what you have seen in this figure. Now with this pretext let us look at resolution of given force into a force at O and a couple. Let us consider a rigid body here. A force F is acting at point A. Let us consider another point on the same body O. So if this body is in this state and I want to know the effect of this force F on the point O, what would I do? I would just take the moment of this force F that is R cross F. And now if you see for this case when I have the same body with the force F here. I add two equal and opposite forces at point O, minus F and F. So the interesting thing is that it will not affect the state of the body. If it is in equilibrium, it will remain in equilibrium because we have added two equal and opposite forces at the same point. So effectively the body should remain at that point. Now what happens is that this minus F and this plus F will get added up as a couple because as you have seen in the previous slides R cross F will be the moment and that moment gets applied at point O. So this moment is that R cross F and you have applied the same force. So in short we can understand that if a force is applied at some point and I want to shift it to another point in the same rigid body I would add two forces here that is in the, in the same direction and in the opposite direction and then the opposite direction force and the same direction force goes into form a couple and the remaining force F is the same as what you had applied at point A. The reverse is also possible. When I have a moment and a force acting on a body, I can shift that force F to any other convenient point. I just have to shift based on this moment such that if I shift the force F 
it will create an equal moment m with the radial line r so r cross f will cancel out this moment and hence you will end up having only a force applied at point a